All right, we have one from Old Code. This one, it's a excerpt from what's called Quantos Vitalis Conflicto, or When Destiny Collides. Here we go. It was not a natural fog. Covering the landscape like a heavy blanket, the mist clung to the ground and brush, blocking out the sun. It hung in the air and covered everything with a thin layer of moisture, refusing to yield in spite of a slight breeze that rattled the leaves. As the sun rose slowly towards its zenith, spiders and insects, predators and prey, played their game of survival as they had for millions of years. But now the game was different. All creatures, be they predator or prey, felt it coming from a distance. A dreaded sense of danger touched their deepest instincts. As it drew closer, the fog drew thicker, and every living thing stopped what it had been doing and began to scurry away from the sense of impending death that approached. As a figure drew near, its appearance would have deceived any who would appreciate beauty. It walked through the forest with the calm assurance that came with knowledge, experience, and power. Dressed in a simple hooded brown robe, that covered almost all of its form. The figure went about its business of collecting roots, herbs, field mice, and other things it would need. A bountiful area of plants beside the pond drew the figure's attention. It knelt down by the pond's bank and extended a pair of hands out of the robe to move the hood aside. The hands and face of the figure had skin as soft as silk and a glow of youthful innocence. The face was that of a young girl, around the age of sixteen, with long black hair and crystal blue eyes. She looked up at the sun and shuddered. There was a great deal of work to do, and it was almost midday. As she began to gather some plant roots, a sharp pain raced through her body like a surge of lightning that stopped for a moment. The pain returned, with less intensity, but still gave the sensation that her insides were falling apart. With one arm grasping her stomach, the other reached down to the pond to get some water. But before her hand had broke the surface, the reflection in the water met her eyes. The image that reflected back was no longer the face of a young girl, but that of a pale and wrinkled old woman. She looked down at her hands to find them equally ravaged by time. Bringing her hands to her cheeks, she stared back at the image in the water. It's time, she whispered to herself, a look of cold determination in her still beautiful eyes. As the shock of what was coming and what had to be done to stop it diminished, her attention went back to the cluster of plants. Now she had even more work to do midday sun or not. She hastened her pace. It was going to be a long day's work. All right, old code, nicely done.